In this video, we learn how to check if a component is placed in a Lightning Console app or not using LWC. So let's go to our VS Code and create a LWC component. I'll go to Command Palette, select Create Lightning Web Component. I'll give a component name and check Console App. Now my component has been created. First, I'll go to the meta file. I'll change the version to 60. I'll make is exposed to true. Then we'll set some targets. For this demo purpose, I'll set three targets: app page, record page, and the home page. And then I'll go to the JS file and I'll import is console navigation method and we're gonna import this from lightning slash platform workspace api and make sure it is from make sure the w and the a is capital in the lightning platform workspace api now we have imported our method now we have to call this method using wire service so i'll import the wire and say add wire call is console navigation now we know we can use wire as method and property because this method returns true or false which indicates if it is true which means the component is inside the lightning console app otherwise it return false so we can use directly as a property and i can change this to lowercase or you can give any name here you can give xyz or anything but it's always good to give a meaningful name and it should not be same as your method name so we'll just change the case to lowercase in i so is console navigation we're gonna print this value true or false on our html and just for the styling purpose let's create a lightning card and we can give the title here you can say is is console app and and give a class sls padding around medium and within this we'll print the property that is coming is console navigation and we can put some text i am in console app it will return true or false in front of this text so let's deploy this to our org that is connected to this project so i'll go to the org and within this salesforce org this is my developer org uh, i'm inside the sales app so if you land up somewhere else you can go to the sales app and within the sales app i have selected the accounts let's select one of the accounts and we'll go to the gear icon we'll say edit page now we're gonna place first our component in a Ended app not in a console app so here is our custom component you can check we'll drag that to on page and we'll hit save and once it's saved we'll click back and you can see that it is printing false because this component is not in a console app now let's go to the console app we'll say console we'll select service console and here we can select cases and we can select one of the case i'll select this case number we'll go edit page we'll go to the custom component select our component drag to the right side top of the page hit save 
and let's go back now you can see that it is printing true on screen which means this component is placed inside a console app so now we have learned in this video how this console navigation works and we're gonna use this method throughout all of the videos wherever we will use the workspace api methods so that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video